What's up everybody? Welcome back to NJ Cocktails. My name is Kenny and today we are making the Manhattan. So this video is probably a little bit overdue, uh, probably in my top three favorite cocktails um, of all time. I drink Manhattans uh, very often. When I don't know what to reach to, this is usually what I go with. Truth be told, I did film this video quite a long time ago uh, and I, I absolutely hated the way it came out so I never used it. Uh, Refilming it today and uh, hoping it goes according to plan. You guys should see this drink somewhere around uh, Halloween. So uh, happy Halloween and I have a little uh, spooky surprise for you guys here at the end of the video. Um, so we might as well uh, get right into it. So. Uh, the Manhattan, right? Uh, the drink that everybody's grandparents um, used to drink, you know, uh, that's what most people associate the Manhattan with. Um, super, uh, super simple, three ingredients. Um, you're using whiskey, you're using Italian vermouth or sweet vermouth, and uh, you're using some sort of aromatic bitters, probably Angostura bitters. Um, it doesn't get much more, uh, much easier than that. And um, the, the Manhattan is definitely a drink that you um, have to develop a taste for, but it is absolutely delicious. A um, little bit of history on the Manhattan. It was um, originally believed to have been created um, in the 1870s. Uh, it was a drink that was supposedly created for a party that was thrown by Lady Churchill who was the mother of the more popular Churchill that most of us know of, Winston Churchill. Uh, that theory has kind of been debunked uh, by cocktail historians. Um, Lady Churchill was actually pregnant at the time that this alleged party took place. And uh, she was also believed to have not been in the United States. Uh, she was believed to have been in France, which would make this theory um, you know, debunked, like I had mentioned. Uh, the party was thrown at the Manhattan Club in New York City, which is where the cocktail uh, supposedly had gotten its name from. There are several mentions of cocktails with the Manhattan name um, in the 1860s. And so the uh, more practical theory, probably what's closer to the truth, is um, that it was created somewhere in the New York City Manhattan area and named as such. Uh, somewhere in the in the early to mid 1860s. So we are going to be using rye whiskey for our Manhattan, which is the more traditional spirit selection for this drink. Some people do make their Manhattans with bourbon, which is completely fine. Drink what you like. Uh, and that's going to give you a little bit of a sweeter profile. I tend to like a little bit more of a spicy whiskey, so I'm going to go with a rye whiskey. Uh, the original Manhattans were, you know, believed to have been made with rye whiskey, with the exception being during Prohibition where it was popular to see a Manhattan made with Canadian whiskey because that was much more available, um, you know, during Prohibition here in the United States. We're going to be using sweet vermouth. Uh, today I'm using Dolan. You can use any sweet vermouth that you have at home, uh, Martini and Rossi or Carpano Antica Formula does really well in this drink as well. Uh, and we're going to need some aromatic bitters. Uh, I'm going to be using Boker's bitters, uh, which are very similar to Angostura bitters, but a little bit of a different profile. Use Angostura bitters in their place and uh, you'll, you'll get a great Manhattan, no doubt. All right, enough history. Let's get into making the drink. So we are going to start with a couple dashes of our bitters. One ounce of sweet vermouth. and two ounces of our rye whiskey. Why not, right? All right, so we're gonna stir this drink down for 15 to 20 seconds, and then we're gonna double strain it into our Nick and Nora glass. Awkwardly stare into the camera. Wait. 
when you feel the outside of the glass starting to get cold, that's when you know it's ready. If you like a little more dilution, you can stir for a little longer. All right. And we are gonna double strain that into our cocktail coupe. All right. We're gonna express some oils from an orange peel over the uh, top of the drink. And uh, I also like to garnish mine with uh, maraschino cherry. So we are gonna do that. And uh, since Halloween is tomorrow, or Halloween's like uh, 10 days from now, but you'll be seeing this uh, one day before Halloween. We're gonna use our spooky bone cocktail pick, courtesy of Surfside Sips. And uh, I've mentioned them before. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out Surfside Sips, please, uh, I'll leave a link to their stuff in the description. They've got some awesome uh, cocktail straws and picks and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, we'll lay that right on there. And uh, there it is, our Manhattan. Let's give it a try. Gonna dump those in there, get them out of the way. Perfect. <coughs> um, just a, just a little bit of spice from that rye whiskey, balanced out with that sweet vermouth. The bitters give it that uh, little extra bit of complexity. That first sip or two, you really get the brightness of that orange um, oil that was expressed over the top. And uh, that's it, the Manhattan. All right, guys, that's it for us today. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment and let us know what video you'd like to see next. We've got new videos every Friday, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so we can let you know when our videos go live. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to check out the description below the video so you can check out some of our sponsors and partners. Uh, you can pick up some awesome aprons from Staggerly Goods, get your bone picks just in time for Halloween from Surfside Sips, and uh, as always, make sure that if you're buying equipment for your home bar, you use Barfly. Uh, all the information is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we will see you next Friday.